In this tutorial, I will show you how to get PlayStation Plus Cloud Streaming on your Steam Deck. Before anything else, you'll need to switch over to the Steam Deck's desktop mode to get at the underlying Steam OS. In desktop mode, click on Discover, the shopping bag icon on the left side of the taskbar. Search for ProtonUp and install it. Launch ProtonUp QT and choose Add Version. Make sure the Compatibility Tool drop-down is set to GE Proton, and then scroll down to choose the newest version from the version list. Open a browser from the desktop and head to the PlayStation Plus page. Scroll down to the Cloud Streaming section and download the PlayStation Plus app. All links will be in the video description. Open Steam. In the bottom left, click on Add Game. Add a non-Steam game. In the new window, hit Browse. Navigate to slash home slash deck slash download slash or wherever you stored the installer. Pick the PlayStation Plus installer you just downloaded and hit open. Back in the first window, hit add selected programs. Open your Steam library and scroll down to the new PlayStation Plus entry. Click on it and go to properties compatibility. Check the box next to force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Select the newest version. Go back to your Steam library and hit play to launch the installer. Get through the PlayStation Plus setup wizard and hit install. At the end, make sure you uncheck the box next to Launch PlayStation Plus. There's a file missing in the install that needs to be manually installed for the PlayStation Plus app to work. First, you'll need to get the DLL file, link is in the video description, onto your Steam Deck. Once it's downloaded, open the file manager. Right-click on the file you just downloaded and select Extract Extract Archive here. Right-click on the extracted file and choose Cut. Over on the right side of the window, click the hamburger button to open the menu and select Show Hidden Files. You'll see new greyed out folders, the ones with their in front of their names. Navigate to Pun Local Share Steam Steam Apps Compadata. The folders here are just series of numbers, so you're looking for the most recent one. That should be the PlayStation Plus installer. If you need to look for it, use the hamburger button and sort by modified. From there, you need to go to slash pfx slash drive underscore c slash program files x86 slash PlayStation Plus slash. There, right click in the folder and choose paste one file.
rename the Unidata X and Unidata.ini files in this folder so the PlayStation Plus app won't try to, and being unable to, update. In that same folder scroll to persplus-launcher.exe, right-click on it and choose Copy Location. Go back to your Steam library and click on the PlayStation Plus installer. In the target field, highlight everything except the quotes. Right-click on the highlighted text and paste in the address you just copied. Do the same in the Start In field. Right-click and paste again and delete pisplaslauncher.x from the end. Rename it to something friendlier like just PlayStation Plus. Stay in desktop mode and launch the PlayStation Plus entry in your Steam library. Once it's launched, right-click on the PlayStation Plus icon in the taskbar, the one over to the right. Chose Graphics Options and then uncheck the box next to Optimize App Performance. Once that's done, Close the window and stop the program through Steam. Open the app again and sign into your account. Once everything's up and running, look for the controller mode button along the top of the screen. It's the one that looks like a monitor and controller. You need to press that. Now you are all set and done. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.